the United Center in Chicago, Illinois. Hi, everybody. I'm Gary Thorne along with Bill Clement. This matchup tonight between the Chicago Blackhawks and the Edmonton Oilers. Chicago's power play accounts for a large percentage of the offensive flow. And if you're ever going to develop any discipline and this team they're playing has had a hard time doing that, if you're ever going to, tonight's the night. Offensive rush, three on two to the point. To Penner. Good save. And he's got that one covered. Face-off coming. The Blackhawks offense are going to give themselves a chance on this draw. And Gary, this may amount to which one of these lines is better defensively. I mean, it's all out. Offense against offense. Chance to create some opportunities here as he comes up the wing. To Surrey. Back, 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 back. To Penner. Two on two the other way. Lad to Campbell. Return pass. That'll send him up. To Tate. Good quick pass in front. Great pass. Offensive opportunity. To Horkoff. Good play to hold that in the zone. To the front of the net on the money. Shot scores! To Sobel. Good effort, good hustle to get that one out of there. And number 83, Alice Hemsky. Two shrimp. Good sheet of ice right there, all the way up to the point. Still has it in the offensive end. To Steos. Takes that pass from down low. He's got it along the line. Scoring opportunity right there. That deflection, good idea, and almost got it. Fine tuning to O'Sullivan. There's a wrist shot. Save made. Good effort. That's a hard-nosed effort by a black and blue player right there. Here's an offensive chance. Three on two to Sokol. Gets that one up near the point. To Steos. Return pass to head up ice. Got it on the tape. Big snapshot. Save made. Picks it up in the slot. Scoring chance on the money to Pisani. Nice pass. That one stayed on the ice up to the point. Got that one covered. That'll get a whistle and a face-off. If you're going to play for this franchise here in Chicago, you have to understand what it means to wear that uniform because there really is something about putting that sweater on. Uh, that uniform in this city is special, and that's why uh, I've never heard anybody complain when they've gotten traded to the Chicago Blackhawks. To Penner. Nice pass. Out all the way to the point. To Surrey. Move back up to the point. Oh, there's a shot in goal scoring area. Pat saved that one. That goal marked all over it. To Penner. Draw coming. Nice play on an opportunity there. We got a face off. Well, on this save, he's going to take the face off in his end, but for a good reason. His guys were running on empty. What a bunch of pressure they were facing, and he just bailed them out. Late here in the first. Penner's goal is still the only one. They lead it 1-0. To Barker. To Sopel. Takes that pass up on the line from down low. Got into the offensive scoring area, but he missed it wide. To Sharp. And an easy save made on a shot taken from a from a position he shouldn't be shooting from. That one's blistered on the snapshot. To Buffalo. And that's the end of the first 20. The Blackhawks' overall performance in the first bill lacking. Well, their passing was bad, and I think that's one of the reasons that possession time is not on their side right now. We move on underway here in the second period. Walk it, walk Up it. they got to Tate. 
to left. On the charge, three on two. Horkoff yeah, yeah, yeah. to Viznovsky. Right back to Horkoff. Moving up the wing through the neutral zone, easy carry. Defensive effort for his goaltender. He'll move that from the front of the net. To Horkoff. Back up onto the point on that pass from down low. From outside the scoring area, what a shot. UA is going to cover this one. Might have been a scoring chance if he doesn't. To Barker. To Buffalo. To Sopel. Takes that return pass and heads up. To Bowler. Cross ice with that one. Over five minutes gone in the second. Penner's goal. It's the difference right now. They're up 1 0. At the point. Good shot from a tough location and a better save of the blocker. Boland, defender loses that one off the poke check. Picks that one up in the offensive zone. Sharp's focus evident there. He knew where that thing was going and jumped right in to intercept. Two on two on the rush. Change up! Gilbert to Horkoff. Into the middle to Penner. To Pisani. In the slot, great chance. Good save. You didn't see any net behind him. To Campbell. Up the wing to Marion Hosa. Nice save with a pad. That looked like it might go through. Picks it up on the offensive end. Pass from down low. He's got it on the point. Get that pass behind the net. Looking to move it out in front. That's a safe play. Got rid of it. He thought about covering for the whistle. Through center to Gilbert. To Puglio. Shot. Save made. That's a real offensive pressure situation that he handled well. Gary, he was really forced to get the whistle and to take it in his own end because his guys couldn't get the puck out of the zone. Borkov's lost another faceoff. That's gone on all night, Bill. Might as well just retreat and give the other guys the puck. Tremendous long pass right there. That was taped to tape to Sharp. Into the offensive zone. Three on two. Shot love save. Handles that puck down deep. Reaches behind and covers up. What a great play on a loose puck. Oh, some fantastic awareness on this save. You can't take your eye off the puck. Easier said than done when it's behind you. But he found it with the glove and got the whistle. Under six minutes left. Second period of action. The Oilers lead one zip to Horkoff. Oh. Offensive opportunity. Three on two. Yeah. Four pick. Yeah. Go, go, go. To Horkoff, to Penner. Receives that puck back on the point from down low. Oh, got rid of that one in a hurry. Got that puck in close goaltender there to knock it away. Opportune goal. That's going to tie it up. Chicago's shooters find a way to do it again. They've tied this thing up. Keep working. Keep working, boys. That's what all the players are saying on the bench. It paid off there. To Caverlet. Through center to Tate. Two on two the other way. Nice wrist. That one's going to hit somebody on the way through and not going to make it to the net. Second period closing in on the buzzer. Carries that puck to the offensive end, and he's in great position. Got to move this. They're moving in in front of the net. Let's see what this penalty is as he heads over to make the call. The Oilers are going to have to play this one one short. Two minutes. Slashing. Draws one back on the backhand. Swung back to the point. Maybe is that flying. That's from outside the zone. Decided not to cover that. Got to wonder about that. That could have been intercepted. And the second period comes to a conclusion.
The Oilers' inability to finish uh, leaves this game tied. That's really about converting time of possession into scoring chances, and they haven't done that yet. Edmonton's going to be shorthanded starting this period. Third period underway as the faceoff takes place. There's a pass up ice. That'll go to the point. That's a good angle shot. Nice save with a pad. So Ray's stick. Right place, right time. Move that puck out of there, and he did. Danger territory. Got rid of it in time. Maybe should have covered that one. To Horkoff. Looking back to the point. Big save down low. That's a scoring chance denied. To Stale. Wrist shot. That's a pretty good defensive play for a guy who didn't want to block the shot. Just stood there and away he went. Goaltender back in behind the net. Stick handles. To Surrey. To Penner. Two minutes gone in the third. Madden's goal is the one that knots it. Edmonton's penalty is over. Returning to the ice now. That'll be even strength. To Penner. Offensive rush. Three on two. Had it down low. Now they take it back up to the line. Great scoring position and a save made. Scoring opportunity denied. Nice use of the pads. Off the point. A rip shot. Got to get rid of that puck in that end. Arms up. We're going to get a delayed call here. He's heading to the bench. He'll get there for the extra attacker to the point. Good kick save. And another save made. Two beauties in a row. Someone's going to the send bin. We're going to find out here in a minute. The Oilers are short. That whistle, two minutes. Hooking. Uh, this is two for hooking. You wrap the lumber around a guy. Out of here. Edmonton's shorthanded unit. Good job the first time they were out. Here's their second chance. Face off one back to the point. Bounces away. Gets that in front of his own net. To Shrimp. To Pulio. Two on two the other way. Good sheet of ice right there all the way up to the point. Nice save with the pass. He shoots. He scores. And a shorthanded goal is on the board. Edmonton's offense has given them the lead here in the third. And the key now for these guys, stay out of the penalty box. If you can play five on five, you can get the W. Big time wrist shot. Kick save and a good scoring opportunity. Shot, beautiful use of the pads. Knocked away a good scoring. Chance scores! And that'll go into the SH column. And from that shot, you get a term called cannonade. He just hammered it. Edmonton's lead is now two, and that's a pretty good lead at this point of the third period. It's a big lead. If they can deny shots, they're home free. To Kane. Takes that pass from down low. He's got it along the line. Not a good scoring area, but man, did he nail that one. Picks that one up, wants to clear it out of there. Able to move that puck out of the zone. He is cleared. He was in the right place, right time. That'll be a blocked shot. At the point, he'll grab that and take charge of it. Edmonton's penalty has concluded, and we're back to full force. Oh, good pass right in front. Good point blank save. Gets that one up near the point to Smead. Great chance, hurried it up. Great leg save. Marker. <laughs> Here's a chance. Nice pass. That one stayed on the ice up to the point. Big pick up in the offensive. Shot scores! The Blackhawks' goal now has cut this lead to one with plenty of time to get that one back. You bet, Gary. There's lots of time. And now they've created that little seed of doubt in their opponents. Nice pass. Out all the way to the point. Dubizovsky. Big blast from the point. The Oilers' offensive chances right now are coming from along that blue line. Listen, if you can pass the puck with precision, especially in the offensive zone, you're going to be able to set up and make things happen. Now, that's how these guys are doing it. He'll handle that one in his own offensive end. Penner. Dubizovsky. Return back to Penner. To Hamsky. Two on two on the rush. Move back up to the point. Handles that one at the point and cleanly. Big time effort. That's the offensive zone. Going for the deflection and the goal, but that one's not close. And it's always a crapshoot when you deflect the puck, and that one just didn't find its way to the target. To Caberlet. 
Looking for a place to go with it behind his own net. In the offensive zone, a little room behind the net. Save made. There's a great scoring opportunity. He got where he wanted to be. Better save. Scoring chance. Nice pass. Takes that pass up on the line from down low. To Penner. He's got it on the stick. Moves it into the zone. Beautiful saucer pass to Horkoff. Back up onto the point on that pass from down low. Got the deflection and ended up missing the net. That's called cleaning your clock right there. Lifted the stick, got the puck, and away he goes. To Penner at the point. That's a goal-scoring effort right there. Bangs that one away. That one had a chance. Running out of time here in the third. This one's still up for grabs. The Blackhawks matching up in this game has not been very good. Here late, it looks like they finally have done it right. It took a while, though, didn't it? Maybe it took too long. To Gilbert. Quick shot. He didn't even have to move. That shot hit him. Puck rolls away. Offensive opportunity is gone. To Julio. To Gilbert. To Dvorak. That puck right up through center ice. Snap that one on net. Off the goaltender's stick. Sharp. Good pass from the other side. Chris shot on net. Big score! And this game is tied with only seconds remaining. Milan's tying goal has put his team back even. Now he wants the game win. And Gary, I would expect the coach to start double shifting him here. Two on two the other way. Pass from down low. He's got it on the point. Under pressure back in that defensive zone. Big opportunity with that one wide of the net. No, nope, no credit for a shot on goal on that rip. Third period. It's over. Game's not. We've still got a tie. We'll try an overtime period, and then, if necessary, we'll go to a shootout. Taves' face-off percentage tonight high gets another chance. There's the opening face-off. Our overtime period's underway. Let's see whether or not we get a game winner here and early. Four minutes remaining, the overtime period. And with a score tied here in overtime, we're looking for just one. Gets that one on the tape in his own offensive zone. Brish. And that's it. They have won the game in overtime. And this one is over. Edmonton's victory ensures some essential overtime points coming their way. These guys had enough clutch players to get it done. That was a super finish for them. And here are the three stars of tonight's game. Third star for Chicago, number 88, Patrick Kane. Tonight's second star for Chicago, number 36, Dave Bowman. Edmonton, number 80, 